Lina, welcome to Spadon. Uh, you are the president of uh, Aspirasi, and uh, can you share with us your your plan? Your you know how are you going to uh, focus your party in coming state election? Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Sarah Fairlanders. First of all, let me thank uh, Dayat Delhi for giving me the opportunity to be here and to share uh, with our viewers our vision for the future Sarawak. Sarawak People's Aspiration Party was formed actually 24 years ago okay, by Dr. Patau Rubis and uh, it, the original name was State Reform Party Sarawak. Okay. Early this year, we uh, had approval from ROS to change our party name to Sarawak People's Aspiration Party and with a new logo, the uh, Raja Group Butterfly, to reflect our aspiration. Perhaps you can show yes. our... To yeah. reflect our direction and our, our aspiration and our vision for the future of Sarawak. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, coming back to your party, uh, you, you have launched, I think you are the first party in Sarawak. Uh, which launched your uh, manifesto. Can you uh, explain to us what are the contents of your manifestos? Yes, we launched an eight-point manifesto. Yeah. I'll just briefly, you know, uh, right. Right. talk on the points. Yeah. Okay, our first point is our Sarawak independence referendum. Uh, party Aspiracy is a pro-independence party, but we believe that only the people of Sarawak can decide for themselves. So the only way is to go back to Raya and in a referendum, ask them you know, whether they wish to uh, uh, be in this federation, which we have been in for 57 years, or whether we are now ready for uh, self-rule. Yeah. You know, the Corbo Commission report is not a referendum. It's just uh, you know, in interviewing and just a survey, you know, which cover only a couple of thousand Sarawakians. It's not a referendum. It doesn't really represent the uh, people's uh, wishes at that time. But anyway, that is in the past. Yeah. But we've been in the Federation for 57 years now. And uh, a lot of people are not mm. satisfied. Yeah. We are the richest resource uh, mm. rich mm. Uh, nation. Yeah. Okay. And yet, we are the poorest. One of the poorest. Uh, yes. And a lot of the our people are feeling that we are, would promise prosperity and progress and development. But instead, you know, none of this was achieved. So, are you saying that the political, current political establishment in Sarawak have not really fulfilled that aspiration in the last 50, 57 years or something? Yeah, I would say whether it's at, uh, you know, uh, federal level and also at our Sarawak state level, mm. the governments have failed to deliver, mm -hmm. you know, what was promised. 57 years ago. So perhaps you want to uh, elaborate further on your manifesto. What exactly people will expect if your party and alliance with other uh, members in Gaza, if you know, manage to uh, take control of the state government? Uh, yeah. Okay, we have the eight points manifesto. The first one is we want to deliver the independence referendum to the people, you know for them to decide mm. what we want uh, to determine for our political future and economic future. That's the first okay. thing. The second thing is uh, we feel that every Sarawakian needs a universal basic income. We are rich. The oil is there, mm. but we are not getting the benefit. Mm. So we have to you know, get our oil rights back. You know, and the economic benefits have to go back to the people. So we, are, we promise when we get our all economic benefits back, you know, we will give 500 every month to every Sarawakian above 18. It's really quite massive. Yeah, yeah I'll explain later how we are going to uh, you when know, it's fund achievable that. Or yes, yeah. whether it's achievable. Okay. The third one is uh, land for landless. The first thing is all NCR land must be returned to the NCR land owners with title and uh, with property title. And with this land, you know, they can, they can uh, you know, make investment and they can farm, you know, and they can, uh, you know, uh, 
borrow money as well mm. to uh, you know, uh, for their agricultural projects. Mm. The other thing is uh, for townlands with 60 year tenure and 99 years, we will uh, convert to triple nine. Yeah. And another thing is we want to uh, revive mm. the Raja order. This is mm. the, the order. So this land, land order issued by the Brook government yeah. says that every lot of three acres shall be given to Landers Rockin. So this is what I want to revive and this is what we want to achieve for the people. Okay? Yeah. And uh, the fourth thing is uh, you know, all the laws that are unconstitutional, which means illegal for Sawa, we have to reject them in Dune first. To reject them in Dune and then correct it in uh, the federal parliament. The fifth uh, point is infrastructural and digital transformation. Okay. Infrastructure means everything. It means water, our people need clean water, healthcare, education, free education up to univers uh, university level. Mm. Okay. And there shall be no stateless Sarawakian. You know, we have many stateless Sarawakians, you know, that's a disgrace. Right? And uh, of course, we'll be all out against corruption. Okay, we'll track the ill-gotten gains and uh, those monies will have to be returned to the people of Sarawak. Yeah. Homeland security, okay, we need to defend our borders. You mean we set up uh, our own... Uh, our own homeland security, yes. Arm, armed forces and... Our Sarawak rangers and also our Sarawak uh, identity. We can do that. Okay. We have only 2.8 million Sarawakians. You know, it's not difficult to do. Okay. And, uh, of course, very important is secularism, inclusiveness, and harmony. So there'll be no race and religion politics. Okay. No race, no religion no politics. No race best and political uh, yes. best. No, uh, religious best uh, politics. Religion is between me and God. Okay. You know, the government should not interfere. So there cannot be a bangsa line line. And there can, cannot be other religions. Because when you say, now, line, line and other, you are meaning that there's one uh, you know, supreme religion and one supreme race. So that is not for Sarawak. So we have to reject this. Uh -huh. okay. So this is secularism and uh, you know, inclusiveness. It doesn't matter what race you are, what religion you are. Yeah. Okay, we all live in harmony. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think that is uh, very inspiring. Uh, now, my next question to you, Lina. Mm. Do you think this is achievable and doable? All these uh, manifestos? Yes, of course. When we uh, you know, work on this manifesto, it has to be uh, doable, it has to be workable, it has to be achievable. We are talking about money. I cannot just pluck out of the air you know, yeah. and give money to you. Yeah. Okay? So the first, uh, okay, the first one about the uh, independence referendum, right. if the people want it, no government can stop the people. So our YBs will uh, go to Dune and they will table the motion for an independence referendum. Okay. When, once we table that, we only need two, uh, uh, two YBs, uh, proposals and seconder. Okay. Once we table that, then the whole world knows that the people of Sarawak want, want a referendum. Then we also know, you know, the YBs in there, are they for Sarawak or, you know, they are for themselves, whether they support or not. So that is the, uh, you know, there is a purpose. The second thing about the basic income, right, right now we are getting uh, five percent, five percent, which is uh, three billion. Yeah, of uh, now, SST. Yeah. SST. So all is uh, uh, now is around uh, fifty dollars. Of course, if all is one hundred dollars, we'll get double the amount. Okay, the federal government is imposing thirty-eight percent petroleum tax. So they've been doing that. Since the 1970s, every year they give 45 billion to AMNO. Okay, so we only start in 2019 to impose five percent. We can increase it to to 30 percent. Okay, this is an administrative right. So if even if we increase to 30 percent, it's still less than the 38 percent, uh, you know, uh, imposed by the federal government, which Petronas gives to federal government. It's our oil. Why give it to uh, federal? You know, give so much to federal government. So we can impose 30 percent. Okay. With this 30%, uh, at the current rate, we can get at least uh, 20 billion. Okay. So, to uh, execute this basic income for every Sarawakian above 18, we need about 10 
10 billion a year. So if we get 20 billion, we still have 10, uh, 10 billion left, which we can use our sovereign fund. Sovereign fund for our future generations. That we can invest and it can grow very fast. So when the money, uh, when our oil runs out, we still have our wealth fund for our future generations. So this is doable. It's doable, so we only had to increase the sales tax from 5% to 30%. And 30%? To 30%. 30%. Which is still less than PITA, 38%. Okay? Uh, so this can be done, it can be done immediately. It's got nothing to do with oil ownership. Sales tax has nothing to do with that. Uh, you know, so you're talking about uh, increasing the, the, the percentage of uh, sales tax? Yes, from 5% to 30%. 30%. And with this money, we will give to uh, our Slovakians and then we will also put it in our wealth fund managed by professional, you know, professionals who will grow the fund. Mm -hmm. And this is our security for the, our future generations. Yeah, Lina, uh, mm -hmm. talking about these uh, manifestos just now, what I'm trying to say is, is it achievable? How many seats do you think your alliance, your your, your coalition can, can, can achieve this coming yeah, election? election? Okay, we're going for as many as as many seats. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, of course, we hope to form the uh, Sarawak government. Yeah. If we form the Sarawak government, this is doable. This is doable. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. Especially with two years. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Even in the coalition, let's say in coalition with other parties, this can also be uh, you know, done. Mm. Of course, it has to go through our DUNA because yeah. DUNA is a lawmaking assembly. Mm. Okay. So, uh, in coming set election, it will be one major block will be GPS, the current government, and then the PH, and then uh, PSB. And then PBK, and then your your your, your yes. coalition, right? Yes, our coalition. Yes. So, do you think people will like too many choices to make? What is the uh, attractiveness of aspiracy that ayah Sarawakin, saya mau linasu? What what's your X factor to pull people to to, to support uh, aspiracy? We are facing yeah. an unprecedented uh, situation. We will never get this chance again in 57 years. Why do you say that? No, this is the first time in 57 years that we can get this chance, you know, to vote for a party which will, uh, which will have the policies that we want for a better and, uh, you know, more prosperous Sarawak. So if we don't have, we don't take this chance today, the opportunity no, may not become around in the 57 years. There are so many parties, yes, this is democracy. So you have a choice. So what the voter has to, to do is to be wise mm -hmm. and ask them what do we want for, you know, for us, not just for us today, but for our future generations, mm -hmm. you see. So they have to choose, they have to uh, look at the party, you know, the, the politicians, the chalon, you know, and what are the uh, policies? Mm -hmm. What are the plans they have for Sarawak? You know, for the next uh, 57 years. So this is what's important. Mm -hmm. you know? And with so many parties, it's a level, you know, playing field. So may the best man win, yeah. And uh, for Aspiracy, we are going to form the third force. So we are working with uh, two other parties, PBDSB, Party Dayak, uh, Sarawak, Baru, and Sarawak Workers' Party. Yeah? They will be going, uh, mainly in the uh, suburban and uh, rural constituencies. So we're working together, we're going to form the third force to give our Sarawak you know, citizens you know, a better choice, democracy. So Miss Lina, mm. I also have to ask you, mm. because when you have this referendum, you may have two answers or three answers. One, who are pro-independent, one who said no, why should we? You know, we, we are okay. Third, they said, well, we couldn't be bothered. So, what's your take on this? A referendum will be yes and no. Okay, yes. after yes. World War II, after yes. World War II, yes. okay, the referendum was the uh, only process recognized internationally. You know, four nations to be recognized as sovereign nations. There's no point in declaring independence and no, no country recognize you. Exactly. So, you have to go through this process. So, okay. so UN and all other sovereign nations recognize the independence referendum, you know, as the legitimate 
process to independence. Okay. Okay? So we have to ask the people, it's not just a few politicians saying they want independence or a few, you know, a, a yes. few activists. So we have to have the people vote, yes or no. If the people vote yes, then, 51 we, proceed, percent, then, we, proceed. then we will proceed with the process. Yes. Okay? If the uh, Rakyat vote no, then we cannot. Same like Scotland. Scotland actually they can uh, you know declare UDI in their mm -hmm. parliament, but they, they will not do it because if they do that, EU is not going to recognize them, UN exactly. is not going to recognize them. So they must go through a referendum. So this is the process that we have to do. Okay. So if Strakians vote for no, we you know, then we we just accept the rakyat uh, mandate. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, okay. Uh -uh. Okay. So that is uh, yeah. you know the process is constitutional. It's uh, legal, it's universally recognized, and it's peaceful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Miss Lina, finally, mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything to say to your uh, supporters or whatever? Uh, Sarawakians and so on? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. This is our logo, our butterfly logo. Uh, so, with a rebranding exercise, you know. Now, this is a Raja Brook butterfly. Just discovered in the uh, 1800s uh, when uh, you know the naturalist Alfred Wallace is here. He discovered the butterfly and he names it after James Brook. So the Raja Brook butterfly is our icon with a shield here, which is to protect our homeland. Uh, so this is Sarawak for Sarawakians. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you.